um, we can MP4. Grand Rising to you all, beautiful souls. How are you? This is the dream within the dream and bringing of interpretation, meaning earth and water dragon creates the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. The water dragon helps you to flow easily around obstacles. Christ's light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities. Go with the flow. And as you hear, water is flowing. And a beautiful beam of plasma light just came through to create a sphere. Fourth dimensional water dragon are soft green in color and very beautiful. They undulate with the flow around them and help everything to move forward with grace and tranquility. Their service work is to maintain the constant movement of Christ's light in the waters of our planet. They also help us to develop our psychic abilities. Guidance, the message the elemental water dragons are bringing to you is to flow around your challenges with loving intent. If we ask them, they will help us to look for an easy way to circumnavigate the challenges and to deal with people lovingly. To enable this to happen, they will help us to develop our intuition and psychic abilities by touching our third eye and flowing, allowing the petals of psychic centers to open. When you listen to your inner wisdom and trust the water dragons, they will guide you. The courses of our lives will run more smoothly. Ask them to help cleanse the cells of our bodies, for this will enable us to shine our light even more brightly. The guidance is to relax so that they can access our energy fields and pour the golden Christ light of pure unconditional love into them. Consciously absorb this golden light and flow with it. This will bring you love, wisdom, and healing and enable you to travel effortlessly on the ascension path. It will also allow us to direct and help others with calm, and integrity. Asse? The earth and water dragon creates the foundation for new growth. Fourth dimensional brown and green earth and water dragons brings the blessing of a new opportunity. They synchronize the energy and timing to ensure it blossoms. The element of the earth enables us to ground our projects while the element of the water enables us to flow with them. When combined in the earth and water dragon, these are very auspicious qualities. When mixed together in the physical world, earth and water create mud, which is excellent for the growth of seeds. If we are planting a tree, you place its roots in the soil and make sure that it has a good foundation. Then you activate its growth with water. In due course, you harvest the fruit. The more effort you put into providing the perfect conditions for the tree, the better the crop. This card is showing you this is a good time to create with the gracious assistance of the earth and water dragons 
you can lay a strong foundation for our future. Picking this card suggests that it's time to start a new phase in our lives. Fresh opportunities may be presenting themselves to us, so be ready to nurture any ideas or visions that come to you. The earth and water dragons will enable you to know intuitively what is right for you to harness your creativity. They will help you to generate this right condition to succeed. They will motivate you to put in the necessary work for this is an important step. And then you can harvest your abundance. Most importantly, they will help us to take things lightly. So listen to the inner wisdom. The time for action is now. I say. You notice a lot of the dragons that we're working with today are fourth dimensional dragons. Air and water dragon. Helps you to connect to higher frequencies. Trust your intuition. Develop your psychic abilities. Be open to enlightenment. Express your inner song. Fourth dimensional blue and green air and water dragons pour light into your third eye to assist the psychic and spiritual development. They help to dissolve your veils of illusion and enable us to see from a higher perspective at the same time. They bring us the inspiration and higher aspirations. They remind us to trust our intuition even when logic demands another course of action. Add air to water and you create bubbles and sparkling waters. Air and water dragons bring lightness and something special to our lives. When they soar and shimmer around us, a sense of happiness and hope lights up within us. They enable us to connect with one and our inner song and start to express it. Call on your blue air and green air and water dragon to enter the third eye to awaken and activate the higher fifth dimensional abilities. Fifth dimensional is called Pentecostal. Penta, which is five. And as you know, we're all now using or will be using soon the star Tetragrammaton. Lois will send the pictures of it so you can order it. It's a beautiful token. We're going to activate them and they'll be made available for those who are actively a part of this new movement, this new growth. This will bring crystal clear clarity and new vision and awareness of life. The third eye is a very sensitive psychic center. And when it is fifth dimensional, the air and water dragons clarify and protect it and enhance your ability to use it for the highest good. It says, when the eye be single, therefore the body shall be filled with light, light body activation. Then they enable you to connect to Neptune, the planet of higher spirituality, to open new enlightened understanding. Choosing this card calls on you to use your intuition as well as your spiritual knowledge and wisdom to see everything from an illumined perspective. Air and water dragons will also surround you and enable your life to flow. They will attune you to your soul voice and express the true notes of your soul. I say.
We also have the air and fire dragon. Works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. It is time for service. When you give, you receive. This is a card of service. For the fourth dimensional brown and orange earth and fire dragons are calling on us now to help them clear and light up the new ley lines of our beautiful planet. The original ley lines were called dragon lines for they were maintained by the dragons of old. Now a new fifth dimensional ley line system is being placed into the earth to carry golden Christ-like energy and prepare the planet for the new golden age. The dragons of earth and fire move through these lines, creating a path of light through which the higher love frequencies can flow. On the top of our head, the crown of our head, many people have patterns or hair that grows in a spiraling pattern. They are called sometimes meridians, sometimes they're called axotonial lines, or if you remember the baby, when a baby is born, the top of its head is very soft and malleable, and you can literally watch them breathe through the crown chakra as they inhale, you see the top of their heads moving up and down. Some people call that the mole. Humbly invoke these dragons and have a sense of the power of the flaming orange combined with the grounding brown earth. Reach out a hand to touch the dragons, then visualize earth being crisscrossed with lines of golden light. Picture these dragons anchoring the golden Christ energy wherever there are sacred places on the globe. Mentally, place a golden flame at each of these sacred portals until you sense our planet lighting up. Whenever you are out walking or driving, Ask the magnificent earth and fire dragons to travel along the ley lines below you. Bring the Christ light down through you so that they can distribute it where it is most needed. When you give, you receive. The earth and fire dragons will illuminate the challenges on your route ahead. And as soon as you have acknowledged them, they will dissolve those challenges. This will smooth your path. It will also allow you to step lightly into your role as a master of the new golden age approaches. I say. The water dragon. The energy of the water dragon. And as I said in my dream state, all of these dragons, regardless of the element that they were previously incarnated in, they have now transcended that form and are able to fly or swim, and they're no longer adversaries. Typically in the past, an air dragon or a fire-breathing dragon was an adversary to a water dragon because the water dragon couldn't fly. It stayed only in the depths, and it was too big bulky in mass to really traverse on land quite well. Now those limitations are all dissolved because now they access and they are not necessarily physical in our realities, which we only see 1% of. If you were to see the other 99% of realities that are interacting with this one, you would be amazed. The water dragon helps you to flow easily around obstacles. Christ's light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow. Fourth dimensional water dragons are soft green color and are very beautiful. They undulate with the flow around them and help everything to move forward with grace and tranquility. Their service work is to maintain the constant movement of Christ's light in the waters of our planet. 
they also help us to develop our psychic abilities and intuition. The message the elemental water dragons are bringing to us is to flow around our challenges with loving intent. If we ask them, they will help us to look for an easy way to circumnavigate these challenges and to deal with people lovingly. To enable this to happen, they will help you to develop your intuition and psychic abilities by touching your third eye and allowing the petals of the psychic center to open. When you listen, your inner wisdom and trust that the water dragons will guide you, the course of your life will run more smoothly. Ask them to cleanse the cells of your body, for this will enable you to shine your light even more brightly. Our guidance is to relax so that they can access the energy fields of our body and pour the golden Christ light of pure, unconditional love into them. Consciously absorb this golden light and flow with it. This brings you love, wisdom, and healing. It also enables you to travel effortlessly on your ascension path. It will also allow you to direct and help others with calm and integrity. I say, the air dragon. This is the energy of the card. Air Dragon helps you to rise above earthly matters, communicate honestly, brings inspiration and hope to see life from a higher perspective. Fourth dimensional Air Dragons are blue, the color of the sky, and fly lightly around us. Air is the element of communication, and these dragons help us to speak our truth. They also encourage us to breathe properly so that we inhale as much source energy as possible. When air dragons pull their energy over a person or a situation, they bring new hope and opportunity. We call on them to exhale over the situations to enable resolutions to be taken for the highest good. In their energy fields, they carry the light of higher possibilities for the planet. The air dragon suggests that you take things lightly. So choosing these cards indicate you should relax and look at part of your life from a higher perspective. Air dragons also inspire you to communicate honestly, but lovingly in a way that calms and soothes everyone around you and promotes good outcome. Honest communication will bring pure white light into your aura. And when this happens, everybody will trust and respect you. Blue air dragons are supporting you as you rise above the challenges. They will help you to say the most tactful or inspirational words and assist you to stand in your power with integrity. Breathe blue and white light into your heart center. And as an air dragon appears in front of you, breathe the light over it. And in this way, you are energizing and motivating it so that it will always connect to you. It is time to decide on your next step. So be clear about what you really want. Your air dragon will accompany you as you fly towards your chosen destiny. I say. The earth dragon. This is the energy of the back behemoth. The air dragon, the earth dragon, sorry, clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded. Be ready to serve. Stuck energy is cleansing and you can move forward in life. 
fourth dimensional air earth dragons are brown the color of the soil they love the planet and the land itself it was these sturdy dragons who helped to build the original dragon lines that we now call ley lines part of their service work is to travel along them to clear them when asked to do so when we send an instruction to the earth dragon to work with the ley lines they can power away under the surface to clear any blockages. This impacts usually on people and situations in the vicinity. They can also help to ground us and our mission in this life. The guidance says, it is time to clear unwanted energies that are preventing our lives from moving forward. Some of these may be in the earth, under our homes or offices, or where we travel. Call on the earth dragons and ask them to remove all that is not in accordance with the divine light. Then sense the frequency rising within the land and on your path. This card also suggests that we may be called upon to do planetary service work as the earth dragons will take the opportunity to cleanse any ley lines you focus on. Take a moment to direct them to clear the planetary grid and visualize the grid glowing and shimmering. When you walk, think of the earth dragons and connect with them through the earth. Ask them to ground you and your vision, for this card signifies that they are now boosting your spiritual journey and you are ready to fly. Notice the progress you make. I say. We almost finished with the fourth dimensional dragons. The next one we're gonna do is the green dragons and then we'll go to the higher density. Okay. So we are now moving in the higher vibrations, baby. That dragon was so beautiful. Both of them were so beautiful last night. Now, as we move into the higher density, the fifth dimensional dragons, you'll notice that each of the fifth dimensional dragon work with an assigned archangel. Angels and dragons are created from the heart of Mother Creator. The green dragon brings the green key. If you notice here, the key in the center of the spiral. Helps you to tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature. Align with your divine essence. All answers lie within nature, and every single thing we need while on earth is provided for us in the, nat in the natural world. Fifth dimensional green dragons touch our psychic center and helps us to tune into the sacred geometry in the trunks of trees, the petals of flowers, the shells of the snails, and everywhere in the Master's Pan Kingdom. Master Pan's Kingdom, as you have heard before, Pangea, Pan, which signifies the bread of life, and Pan, which is also depicted by the male and the female, connected together by the inner legs in a three-legged race. 
These are the keys and codes that bring us in tune with our divine essence. When we are fully aligned with our fifth dimensional blueprint, we are automatically whole and healed. The nature kingdom is a magical place in which all our answers are held for us. Luminous Green Dragons helps us to read these answers. So if you can sit quietly in nature, call a dream, green dragon and ask for guidance. The response may come to you consciously or unconsciously. So accept that something important has been activated within you, whether you are aware of it or not. You may feel the need to walk somewhere particular. If so, follow the impulse for your green dragon will be guiding you. Keep your eyes and ears open, for the answer may come through a tree, bird, insect, animal, or something else entirely. Your green dragon will guide, will glide with you, directing you to the answer you need. This calls for a deep trust and understanding that the divine plan is perfect. Drawing this card also suggests that you would benefit from spending more time in the green world. Your green dragon will be with you, so acknowledge it and let it touch you with its wisdom and great knowledge. Expect revelations or healing. I say. And we're moving on up. Still in the fifth dimensional. Now we're going up in the seventh dimensional. All right. So we've seen the symbol a lot, the trident, which is often associated with Neptune, Poseidon, and many of the water gods and goddesses. In our modern day culture, many in different religious groups have associated the trident with the pitchfork, but it's okay. We still use the trident, especially when people are working in barns, they use the three teeth pitchfork to move the hay. Yo, hey, va, hey is also one of the ancient names for the Christ or for God, Yohevah. The aquamarine dragon from Neptune enables us to access our deepest soul wisdom. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you now. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. Neptune is the watery planet of advanced spirituality and enlightenment. The aquamarine dragons from this illumined planet carry the light of the universe, which contains spiritual information and knowledge. They will approach us and ask us to tune into them so they can download the light into our energy fields. This will enable us to take information and know how to apply it wisely. As these gentle dragons flow around us, they also help us to access more of the ineffable soul knowledge and wisdom and pass it to others humbly, sincerely, and honestly. They have the ability to pour liquid light into us, Merkaba, which builds our crystalline light body more quickly and enable us to shine. They also enhance the psychic development by enabling our psychic chakras to open more easily. We may find our subtle knowing is heightened after encountering, encountering them. Aquamarine dragons from Neptune are water dragons. They will flow around you, surrounding you with their aquamarine energy and awakening your psychic abilities. Connect with them often. For each time you do so, they will light up more of the keys and codes in your true essence. This will bring you soul contentment 
and a sense of your divine magnificence, you will experience higher levels of enlightenment and see our world and the universe through different eyes. Your guidance is to drink a glass of blessed water as you tune into these dragons and they will be able to touch you more profoundly. I say. And we often said from the Bible days, when you see signs and wonders in the heavens and signs and wonders on the earth, you know that the time has shifted and something great is unveiling here on earth as also in the heavens. Oftentimes you see me use the word ase laira for the word acceleration or the will and the divine gifts from the planetary system over on the other side of the sun called Lyra or the Pleiades. In the book they call the Bible in Job and also make reference in the book of Amos, they talk about the three kingdoms of heaven of the south. And one of them is Arcturus, Ursa, as it's called in the constellation, the seven stars, the seven seals of Pleiades, the planet also known as the seven sisters that many native indigenous people on this planet observe in the night sky. And it also talks in Revelation in Christianity, he who comes with the seven stars in his hands. So we understand that much of what has been hidden in plain sight deals with astrotheological or the language of Sheba, the divine wisdom, or the Saba, Sabian languages of astrotheological importance. So as the white and gold dragon from Lyra comes forward, it connects you to the highest Christ light, develop your causal chakra, and bathe in the ninth dimensional Christ light. Lyra is the cross-shaped 12th dimensional stargate through which Archangel Christiel and the unicorns enter our universe. The light from Lyra pours down through the moon, allowing scintillating seventh dimensional dragons to step through into the vibration of Earth. These white gold dragons embody the highest frequency of the Christ light and enable and is available to everyone on this planet. They work closely with Archangel Christiel, who is in charge of the development of the causal chakra of humanity. This is a particular important right now, as our causal chakras is our connection to the higher dimensions of spirit. The dragons, angels, unicorns, and masters, the white gold dragon from Lyra helps to clear and develop our causal chakra and illuminate our highest possible ascension path. These white gold dragons are attached to you now because you already carry Christ's light in your aura. Ask one to take you to the ninth dimensional pool of Christ energy held in Lukame. Lukame is also one of the names for the higher aspect of one of our planets here in the seventh. Visualize yourself bathing in the pool. Remember, we talked about the pool this morning in the center of the abode, which shimmers and swirls with love, pure love and light. Feel yourself absorbing all of you and all that you're ready to receive. When you return, continue to feel the white gold light in your aura and practice pure, unconditional love in your daily life. Your aura will radiate incredibly high frequency of white gold, and the white gold dragon from Lyra will support you by continuing to pour Christ light into you. Take time to find a quiet place where you can listen to its wisdom and guidance. I say. The next is the Golden Atlantean Dragon, 
which again, these are seventh dimensional energies. Many of us are activating our sacred record keepers from the Atlantean era. The reason why we call the Atlantic Ocean the Atlantic Ocean before it was called the Ethiopic Sea. Lord Atlas, or the city that descended from the heavens, had once existed on this earth in a bridge between the African continent and the American continent as a midway station. So many of you with memories of Atlantis before it was sunken in four pieces under the ocean, where they call it now the 37th parallel dimension or the Bermuda Triangle or the Diaspora Triangle that connects Africa to the New World and back to Europe. This helps you to remember the wisdom of golden Atlantis. Awaken, bring back your knowledge, gifts and talents. Reclaim your mastery. Seventh dimensional golden Atlantean dragons hold the keys and codes of the awesome wisdom of golden Atlantis. The golden era of Atlantis lasted for 1,500 years. And during this time, the people lived in harmony and happiness with the upper level of fifth dimension. Humans, animals, and the land itself radiated a golden aura. Everyone enjoyed soul satisfaction. Source energy powered the great crystal held in the temple of Poseidon, which was the power source for the civilization. The awesome spiritual technology of Atlantis was activated by crystals and mind control. When we are ready to bring back our innate Atlantean knowledge and wisdom, golden Atlantean dragons will come to us and reactivate the gifts and talents and information held within our DNA. This card invites you to activate your own personal fifth dimensional blueprint, for it contains the light and the incredible era of Golden Atlantis. The Golden Atlantean dragon who has come to you now work directly with all the great masters of Atlantis during the Halcyon days. And remember Halcyon or Selacion or Halcyon is the ninth dimensional sun beyond our current localized sun. It's over there in the Sirius constellation. Prepare to reclaim your mastery. You are ready to dissolve the final veils of amnesia and your dragon will assist you to do so. Ask it to breathe its golden fire into your third eye so that the final clearance and awakening can take place. Your dragon will remain with you and shine light into you as you prepare to stand in your power as an Atlantean master. I say. I say. Now we are going over in the ninth dimensional section of our dragonids. And this is the alpha dragon. You've often seen me put the sign of Leo, alpha, and the sign of Libra for omega or balance. If you notice between the word alpha and omega, A and D, spelled backwards, is D and A. So it's always been a trigger for greater wisdom to impart itself. Alpha Dragon, harness the divine masculine power of creation. Destroy the old, visualize your dream, and help to manifest the new world. In the biblical scripture, it says, and I saw a new Jerusalem coming down from the heavens, and behold, heaven and earth were passed away. The old was made new. These incredible galactic dragons carry Archangel Metatron's highest light. They help to create the universe that we live in and to continue to breathe the yang energy of manifestation into our world because they have the power of physical manifestation. They work with our thoughts when we or the collective mind of humanity are ready to bring something into creation. They are enormous and powerful dragons. 
they only work for the highest good. As they can build, they can also destroy. They are entering our world now at the end of the old era and the start of the new to facilitate the destruction of that which no longer serves our planet and the construction of a new world at a much higher frequency. Alpha Dragons are bringing you a very special message. You are being called to demonstrate creative forces in your current project or experience. So ask these magnificent beings to assist and to know that their masculine energy will empower and strengthen you as you visualize what you want to build. You can also ask these dragons to support you in constructing our new fifth dimensional world. As you hold the vision of a new golden age, they take your pictures and breathe life into them. This is the card of raw power and creation. So ensure your intentions are pure. Lady Lois, the divining rods, please. Thank you, beloved. Please show us yes. Yes. Please show us no. No. Alpha Dragon, I call you forward. Yes. Thank you. Golden Atlantean Dragon, I call you forward. Yes. White Gold Dragon from Lyra, I call you forward. Yes. Aquamarine Dragon from Neptune, I call you forward. Yes. Green Dragon, I call you forward. Yes. Earth Dragon, come forth. Yes. Air Dragon, come forth. Water dragon, come forth. Yes. Earth and fire dragon, come forth. Yes. Air and water dragon, come forth. Yes. Earth and water dragon, come forth. Yes. Be present now on the crown, third eye, and breathe into the chakras of all present. Yes. Who will become present. Yes. Who has been present. Yes. Past, future, what if, perpendicular, all alternate dimensional, now collapse in this one superposition. Yes. Omega dragon, come forward. Yes. Source, be present. Yes. I call for the Logos Logi of all planets, galaxies, quasars now to be present here in the ceremony. Yes. Prima Adonai aki asu eno kalale rabdondo kalale sundre el kala preto asu kile radu roson de kile kile dir romando koro kodo sinchi kiri li erla le berra du koro ronda garale tu ara le sinchi kura te asu enduro so kore li avu shungura eli kure adu mara ele berto. Yes. Rebirthing a new paradigm, activating now see combine. I thank you. I thank you. Please activate these codons. Yes. Adu, adu, adora, adora. And so it is, and it is so. Namaste. Whew. All right, we can shake it fast now. Show me what you're working with. Shake it fast. Oh, yeah. Uh, drink some water there, Laurie, because.